What is the most important component of an EV? Many people will actually think it's the batteries. Now, the car's ability to move depends on the energy stored in the battery. The EV industry has widely adopted the lithium-ion battery. Although it has some limitations that impact EV performance, and now many manufacturers compete to produce the most outstanding battery to put their vehicles ahead of the pack. Toyota is in the lead since its long-awaited solid-state battery is now available. But how far along in its research and development has Toyota's solid-state battery been? And how does it compare to the more common lithium-ion battery? Hi guys, I'm Fred and welcome back to Investing Wise Academy. In this video, let's take a look at Toyota's solid-state battery that will soon hit the EV market. The lithium-ion battery is standard in today's battery electric, and as a result of its low cost and long lifespan, lithium batteries have found widespread use in modern technology. Your phone is powered by a lithium-ion battery, which is the same type found in laptops and many other electronic devices. The electric car industry is where the superiority of lithium-ion batteries over lead-acid batteries becomes most apparent. In the past, electric automobiles were impractical due to their short range, but Tesla changed all that with the introduction of the Roadster, equipped with lithium-ion batteries. However, the Roadster proved to the world that a high-performance electric automobile could travel more than 200 miles on a single charge. Now, there have been several advancements to the lithium-ion battery since then, which has led to a decrease in demand. However, EVs are hampered by the lithium-ion battery's inherent issues, and researchers in the field of batteries have been searching for a solution to these problems for some time. The solid-state battery is the next big thing in batteries, and Toyota has found it. But what issues with lithium-ion batteries is Toyota hoping to address with the new solid-state battery? Lithium-ion batteries have unique safety needs, and when compared to other rechargeable technologies, lithium-ion batteries are not as reliable. In addition, they require extreme safeguarding against excesses of charging and discharging. Besides this, safe maintenance is necessary for lithium-ion batteries. Therefore, every lithium-ion battery needs protection circuitry, which is a significant drawback to maintain these safe limits. These then makes things heavier, more complicated, and more expensive. Additionally, it makes recycling a significant hassle. Even though they are powerful, lithium-ion batteries are somewhat heavy. About a third of the vehicle's total mass can be accommodated by the battery, and this causes tire wear to accelerate. So, car designers face an additional challenge in achieving symmetry between the vehicle's center of gravity and its tires. Additionally, lithium-ion batteries degrade with time. Although lithium-ion batteries survive a long time, their performance varies over time, and lithium-ion batteries lose their capacity and function. Now, lithium-ion batteries can lose efficiency whether they're being used or not. While wear and tear certainly play a role in diminished efficiency, the passage of time also plays a role. Lithium-ion batteries also have the drawback of being unsafe when exposed to temperatures above a certain threshold. It's also possible for lithium-ion batteries to become combustible and explode. And when an EV comes into an automobile accident, the danger level rises. However, lithium-ion batteries do not perform well in freezing temperatures. When snow hits, the driving range drops dramatically. As a result, charging a battery in cold weather is also slower. Now, the expense of lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles is perhaps the major disadvantage. The materials used in these batteries, notably the cathode, make them exceptionally pricey. And despite price fluctuations being common because of the high cost and erratic availability of key raw materials like cobalt, nickel, etc., 
even though battery prices have been dropping, they still aren't cheap. As I previously said, Toyota isn't the only firm researching and developing solid-state batteries. Solid-state batteries are one area where the electronics giant Samsung is interested. Yes, this is the same Samsung that produces the wildly successful Galaxy series of smartphones. QuantumScape, an American company that develops solid-state lithium metal batteries for electric cars, has raised almost a billion dollars and is also working on solid-state batteries, and over 17 backers have already committed to it. Brightvolt is yet another organization actively working on the improvement of solid-state batteries. Fisker also made a big deal out of solid-state batteries but ultimately abandoned the effort. But none of them have been as quick or made as many advances as Toyota. So, how exactly does solid-state battery technology work? Interestingly, traditional lithium-ion batteries and solid-state batteries share a lot of similarities with one another. The main distinction between the two types of batteries is that solid-state batteries use a solid electrolyte, whereas liquid-state batteries use liquid electrolytes. These can be accomplished with the use of a variety of materials, including glass, ceramic, and others. The electrodes and electrolytes in a solid-state battery are both solids and is the case with the battery's name. Oxides, sulfides, phosphates, polyethers, polyesters, nitrile-based compounds, polyzeloxane, polyurethane, and similar substances are all examples of solid electrolytes. Now, the kind of electrolyte put into the battery will determine how well it performs, and because of the high elastic moduli that ceramics possess, they are well suited for use in stiff battery systems. On the other hand, the low elastic moduli of polymers make them well suited for use in flexible devices. The process of solid-state batteries is quite comparable to that of lithium-ion batteries. It's because both the anode and the cathode are constructed out of electrically conductive materials, and between the two electrodes that are holding the charged ion particles, there is still an electrolyte that is present. The lithium ions then traverse the electrolyte as they make their way between the electrodes. The flow of electric current is caused by the motion of charged particles in a certain direction. Charging occurs when ions migrate from the cathode to the anode or from the positive electrode to the negative electrode. This movement of ions gives rise to the terms positive electrode and negative electrode. Now, a similar phenomenon occurs when ions move from the anode to the cathode, resulting in a battery's discharge and the current supply to the load. And lastly, what are the benefits of using Toyota's solid-state battery? You see, compared to lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries can supply 2.5 times better energy density. In other words, Toyota can expand the range of its EVs while maintaining the same battery capacity and weight. And one of Toyota's future EVs may have a range of over a thousand kilometers. Compared to conventional batteries, solid-state ones last longer and lower the risk of explosion. This is because solid-state batteries have a non-combustible solid electrolyte. This makes them safer to use around fires. Furthermore, solid-state batteries are smaller and more affordable than their conventional counterparts. Solid-state batteries also weigh less than their traditional counterparts. This means that Toyota's vehicles will be lighter, extending the battery range even more. This will make it much easier for an engine to run on less fuel if it has a smaller mass. Solid-state batteries have a recharge time that is 4 to 6 times faster than ordinary batteries. And one of the most common criticisms of EVs is how long it takes to charge up. And to fully charge the battery of the typical EV can take up to an hour, which could be an issue for long-distance EV drivers. This is also a difficult issue for fleet operators whose time is money. Nonetheless, Toyota will be able to produce automobiles with a charge time of fewer than 10 minutes thanks to solid-state batteries which is a significant improvement over the time required by conventional internal combustion engine vehicles.
a fully functional prototype of the Japanese firm's solid-state battery has been in use for some time now. Now, company footage reveals an updated version of Toyota's LQ concept, an AI and self-driving demonstrator first shown at the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show. And since then, it has been featured prominently in numerous advertisements for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Until now, all that was known about it was that it was a battery electric car. However, in this release, a huge decal proudly proclaims that it uses an all-solid-state battery. The prototype was also not a stationary model since it was seen moving autonomously down the road. So, what do you think of Toyota's solid-state battery? Let me know in the comments section below. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Again, this is Fred. And don't forget to like this video and see you next time.